so today we are looking into a very important chapter that is redox reaction now redox reaction the name itself gives us an indication that it is going to deal with two types of reaction this word red has been taken from the word reduction and ox this has been taken from the word oxidation so a combination of reduction and oxidation reaction would be called as redox reaction now in order to understand what is redox reaction we first need to understand what is oxidation and what is reduction in detail so let us first understand what is oxidation a very basic understanding of oxidation is oxidation means addition of oxygen okay so let's say if c is combining with o2 it is forming co2 when carbon monoxide is again combining with oxygen this is also forming co2 okay now if you see here oxygen is not balanced so we need to balance the oxygen c so oxygen is 4 here it is 4 to add 2 here so this is two oxygens two oxygens here so four on the left hand side and again four on the right hand side now this is a very basic understanding of oxidation another way of defining oxidation reaction would be oxygen oxidation is also defined as loss of electrons loss of one or more electrons by a substance which can either be an ion or a molecule or a compound okay now see this in order to understand this we will consider a very basic example mg plus o2 forming magnesium oxide now we need to again balance this reaction first so now this reaction is balanced now this reaction in total is occurring in two basic steps step 1 these magnesium will be losing two electrons now each atom of magnesium is losing two electrons so so magnesium will be first of all losing two electrons so each atom is going to lose two electrons so here there are two atoms of magnesium so it will be losing four electrons then oxygen will be accepting these four electrons to form all right each molecule of oxygen will be accepting two electrons so two will be accepting four electrons all right so this becomes 2o2 raised to minus 2 now if i want to make a net reaction this four electrons will be cancelled from both sides so i can write so this is going to form 2 mg o all right now let us try and understand what is reduction now oxidation was loss of electrons so reduction would be defined as gain of one or more electrons all right by 
a substance which can be an element, compound or ion. So oxidation is loss of electrons. A reduction is gain of electrons. Now let us understand what is called as an oxidizing agent. An oxidizing agent is defined as that species which will make other substance which will make other substance to lose electron. Oxidizing agent is that substance which will make other substance to lose electrons. That means it is oxidizing other substances which means it itself will undergo reduction okay similarly a reducing agent will be defined as that species which will make other substance to gain electrons. So what is it doing? It is causing a reduction of other substances which means it will itself undergo oxidation. Now very important that oxidizing agent oxidizes other substances and undergoes reduction. Reducing agent itself undergoes oxidation and it reduces other substances. Let us try and understand this with the help of an example. Let us try and understand what is an oxidizing agent and reducing agent with the help of an example. Now this reaction will occur in two steps. First, Zn is going to lose two electrons. Now when it loses two electrons, a charge of 2 plus is coming on Zn. Now this ionic species 2HCl would be dissociating into 2H plus plus 2Cl minus. Then this hydrogen ions will be accepting the electrons released by Zn to form H2. Now let's understand. What is an oxidizing agent? Oxidizing agent is that which causes other substances to lose electrons and it itself undergoes a reduction. So if you look here, hydrogen. Okay, Hydrogen has caused zinc to lose electron and it is itself undergoing a reduction. So what is hydrogen? Hydrogen is a oxidizing agent. So hydrogen has caused zinc to lose electrons and it has itself undergone reduction. So the oxidizing agent would be hydrogen ions. Alright. On the other hand, zinc, what has it done? It has itself lost electrons which means it has itself undergone oxidation and it has caused the reduction of hydrogen ions. So, 
zinc would be called as a reducing agent so we have up till now understood what is oxidation oxidation is loss of electrons what is reduction the reduction is gain of electrons oxidizing agent is that species which causes oxidation of other substances and it itself undergoes reduction reducing agent is that species which causes the reduction of other substances and it itself undergoes oxidation so now we are in a better position to understand what is a redox reaction very simple it is that reaction in which oxidation and reduction would occur simultaneously okay oxidation and reduction would occur simultaneously if we want to understand this with the help of an example zn plus cu2 plus forming zn2 plus plus cu so look at zinc zinc has lost electrons so there is loss of electrons which means it has undergone oxidation cu on the other hand has gain electrons which means reduction is happening so oxidation and reduction is happening simultaneously in the same reaction so this reaction would be classified as redox reaction now very important concept of oxidation number was introduced to explain redox reaction in molecular compounds now in order to understand what is oxidation number we need to first understand some basic rules of oxidation number so rule 1 oxidation number of an atom in free or uncombined state is zero for example if i take cl2 or if i take calcium or if i take hydrogen now all these are free or uncombined state so here all of them would be having an oxidation number of zero now rule 2 rule 2 says that the oxidation number of an atom in monoatomic ion monoatomic ion means there is only one atom in that ion will be equal to its charged so whatever is the charge carried by the ion same will be the oxidation number of that atom say for example i am taking ba2 plus so this is a monoatomic ion and charge is 2 plus so what is the oxidation number plus 2 if i am taking cr3 plus again a monoatomic ion and the charge is of plus 3 if it is s2 minus so the oxidation number is of minus 2 now next rule is for hydrogen atom so a hydrogen atom can have an oxidation number of either plus 1 or minus 
So when a hydrogen atom is combining with a metal, it would be having an oxidation number of plus 1 and when it is combining with a non-metal, then the oxidation number would be of minus 1. For example, if we look into HCAH, now in this compound, we know calcium is having a valency of 2. It has a tendency of losing 2 electrons. So plus 2 charge, so hydrogen each atom would be having minus 1. If you look at OH, this is a charged ion and there is a charge of minus 1. Oxygen also have a tendency to gain 2 electrons. Therefore, it, there is a charge of minus 2. And this whole ionic species is having minus 1. So, what is the charge that hydrogen would be having here is plus 1. Next rule. Rule 4. Now, rule 4 is for oxygen molecule, oxygen atom. So, the oxygen atom always has an oxidation number of minus 2. Now, for this, there are some exceptions, very important exceptions. Exceptions are peroxides. So, if I am considering hydrogen peroxide, See here, hydrogen is having an oxidation number of plus 1. So, each oxygen atom is having an oxidation number of minus 1. So, this is the first exception. Similarly, when it is O2 raised to 2 minus, each atom is having an oxidation number of minus 1. Next rule. is for halogens. So, fluorine would always be having an oxidation number of minus 1. Fluorine would always be having an oxidation number of minus 1. Chlorine, bromine and iodine. They usually have an oxidation number of minus 1. But again, there are some exceptions to it. The first exception is See, we know that oxygen is having an oxidation number of minus 2. This is a neutral compound, which means plus 2 has to be there. So, each atom will be having plus 1. Similarly, if it is HOCl, oxygen again will have an oxidation number of minus 2. So, Cl will have plus 1 and hydrogen will have plus 1. Then, next rule. Rule 6. This says the algebraic sum of oxidation number of atoms in neutral molecule. would be 0. So, if I am taking a compound CDS, if sulphur is having an oxidation number of minus 2 and this compound is neutral, so CD will be having plus 2. So, minus 2 plus 2 0. So, the oxidation number of this neutral molecule is 0. Okay. Next rule. Next rule says that the algebraic sum of oxidation number of atoms in polyatomic ion polyatomic ion it would be equal to the charged carried by it.
example if it is so4 raised to 2 minus so now see what is the oxidation number of oxygen it is minus 2 and so oxidation number of sulfur plus oxidation number of oxygen atoms each oxidation oxygen atom is having an oxidation number of minus 2 and there are four such atoms and the algebraic sum of these should be equal to minus 2 because the charge carried by it is minus 2. So oxidation number of sulfur would be Now a very important point to be noted is that electron transfer can never be in fractions. Electron transfer can never be in fractions. But an oxidation number can be in fraction. So oxidation number can be in fraction. Remember this oxidation number of an atom can be in fractions. So oxidation number of an atom can be in fractions. Let's try and understand this with the help of an example. If it is S4O6 raised to minus 2. Now like we said algebraic sum of the oxidation number of atoms in a polyatomic ion has to be equal to the charge carried by it. So oxidation number of sulfur. Now how many atoms of sulfur are there? 4. So this into 4 plus what is the oxidation number of oxygen? It is minus 2 and how many atoms are there? 6. This has to be equal to minus 2. So it follows 4 into oxidation number of sulfur would be equal to minus 2 and this minus 12 when it goes on the other side it will become plus 12 so this is 10 and hence oxidation number of sulfur would be 10 divided by 4 which will give you 2.5 so each atom of sulfur here is having an oxidation number of 2.5. Okay. Now this is a very important concept. So we need to understand how can we always get to know the oxidation number of each atom. So there can be questions of uh, calculating the oxidation number of any of the atom in a polyatomic ion. So let's go through some examples. So now we are trying to understand how can we calculate oxidation number of different atoms. So the first atom, first uh, polyatomic ion that we are considering is S2O3 raised to 2 minus. So we are going to first follow the rule that algebraic sum of oxidation number of each atom in a polyatomic ion is equal to the charge carried by it. So how many atoms of sulfur are there here? 2. So 2 into oxidation number of sulfur plus 3 into what is the oxidation number of oxygen? It is minus 2 and the charge carried by it is of so the algebraic sum of the oxidation number of two atoms is equal to the charge carried by that polyatomic ion. So this would give us 2 into oxidation number of 
oxidation number of sulfur is equal to minus 2 plus 6. So, oxidation number of sulfur would be 4 divided by 2 which is 2. So, here we have calculated the oxidation number of sulfur which is plus 2. So now we can get another set of questions which will ask us to identify redox reactions. So we are going to learn this with the help of an example. So your question would be asking you this reaction would be given and we will be asked to identify the redox reaction. Now for identifying redox reactions, we first need to assign oxidation number to each of the atoms. Okay. So let's see this compound first. See what does it say? 3 H3 As O3. Now we know oxygen ka each atom will be having an oxidation number of minus 2. Hydrogen would be having of plus 1. So we have to recollect that the algebraic sum of the oxidation number of each atom in a poly of all the atoms in a polyatomic ion would be equal to if it's a neutral molecule it would be equal to 0. So see it's this way 3 into oxidation number of hydrogen which is how much plus 1 plus 3 into oxidation number of As plus 3 into oxidation number of oxygen which would be minus 2 and this entire thing has to be 0 and there would be one more 3 this is 3 O3 and there are such 3 molecules here so this would be a hydrogen also the entire molecule is 3 so here there is one more 3 so this is plus 9 plus 3 into oxidation number of As 3 3 is a 9 9 and minus 2 is minus 18 should be equal to 0 so 3 into oxidation number of As would be 9. Now this 3 when it goes here what would be oxidation number of As? 9 divided by 3 which is plus 3. So in such way we will have to define oxidation number of each polyatomic ions here. So here we said that hydrogen is having plus 1. As we just calculated we got it as plus 3 and oxygen is minus 2. Now similar way Oxygen is having an oxidation number of minus 2. And how many such atoms are there? 3. So minus 2 into 3 would be minus 6. Minus 6 plus the oxidation number of bromine has to give us the charge of minus 1. Because the algebraic sum has to be equal to the charged carrying rod in minus 1. So when this minus 6, when it goes on the other side, it will become plus 6. Right? And we want minus 1 charge to remain. So this will come out to be 5. And this would be minus 2. Monoatomic ion. Charge of minus 1. Hydrogen is having plus 1. Oxygen is having minus 2. So if we calculate in a similar way. See it's this way. The 
3 into oxidation number of hydrogen which is 1 and there are 3 such hydrogen atoms plus oxidation number of As plus minus 2 ka charge is there on each atom 4 such atoms so it will be 4 into minus 2 into 3 because 3 such molecules are here this all should be equal to 0 so 9 plus oxidation number of As minus 3 to the 6 6 fours are 24 should be equal to 0 So, S yes, will come out to be 15. Now, how many such molecules of AS are here? 3. So, 3 AS molecules. So, individual AS will be having a charge of plus 5. So, here we will write down plus 5. Now let's, after we have written the oxidation number of each atom, we will have to find out which atom has undergone increase or decrease in oxidation number. So, do we see? Yes, see here. There is an increase in oxidation number. An increase in oxidation number matlab what has occurred there is loss of electrons which means it has undergone oxidation now look at bromine now here bromine there is a decrease in oxidation number Now decrease in oxidation number means it has accepted electrons which means it has undergone a reduction. So if we have to identify which is an oxidizing agent. Now recollect oxidizing agent itself undergoes reduction. It causes other substances to undergo oxidation. So, with bromine has itself undergone reduction and it has caused the oxidation of AS. So, your oxidizing agent is BrO3 minus. Same way, your reducing agent. What is a reducing agent? The reducing agent causes the reduction of other substances and it itself undergoes oxidation. So here AS has undergone oxidation. So your reducing agent is H3 ASO3. Now same concept we will go through one more example. So the first step is assigning oxidation number to each atom. Okay. Now rules says that any atom in free or uncombined state will have an oxidation number of 0. Oxygen is how much? Minus 2. Each atom is having minus 2. So minus 2 and how many uh, such atoms are there? 3. So minus 2 into 3 would be minus 6. Now minus 6 into 2. So minus 12. Now out of this minus 12, minus 2 charge has to remain. So it has to be minus 10. If you want to explain how do we calculate the oxidation number of S2. See it's going to be this way. 2 into oxidation number of 2 into 2 into oxidation number of S.
वन टू बिकॉज देर आर टू सल्फर मोलिक एटम्स एंड दिस टू बिकॉज द एंटायर सच टू आयनिक स्पीशीज आई हर प्लस थ्री इन टू ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन विच इज माइनस टू एंड बिकॉज देर आर टू सच मॉलिक्यूल्स इट विल बी टू हियर दिस हैज टू बी इक्वल टू माइनस टू सो दिस इज फोर इन टू ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ सल्फर टू टू जो फोर फोर थ्री जो ट्वेल्व सो दिस इज माइनस ट्वेल्व इज माइनस टू सो फोर इंटू ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ सल्फर माइनस ट्वेल्व गोज ऑन दैट साइड बिकम्स प्लस ट्वेल्व सो दिस वुड गिव एज टेन सो ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर of sulfur would be 10 divided by 4 which will give us 2.5 so this each atom is having a oxidation number of 2.5 now same way see here how much would that be minus 2 into 6 which is how much now let us go through one more example so the first rule says that the oxidation number of any free or uncombined state atom would be zero Now here minus two charge, ah uh, minus two oxidation number is of oxygen, so minus six and S two, we have to calculate how much would that be. So minus six algebraic sum of the oxidation number of each atom in a polyatomic ion would be equal to the charged carried on it. So see it's this way. oxidation number of s and there are two such sulfur atoms plus three oxygen atoms an oxidation number is of minus 2 would be equal to minus 2 so this would be minus 2 this minus 6 will come on that side and become plus 6 so oxidation number of s would be 4 divided by 2 which is 2 so here we write down plus 2 always remember we have to write down the oxidation number of each atom of each atom now similarly we will have to calculate the oxidation number of the species s4o6 so see it's this way oxygen we know is minus 2 so 4 into oxidation number of sulfur plus 6 atoms of oxygen are there so 6 into oxidation number of oxygen their algebraic sum has to be equal to the charged carried by it so 4 into oxidation number of Sulfur. This minus twelve goes on that side and become plus twelve. So we are going to get oxidation number of sulfur is ten divided by four, which is two point five. So this would be two point five. An oxidation number of any monoatomic ion is equal to the charge carried by it. so here it would be minus 1 now we have to identify the species which has undergone increase or decrease in oxidation number so look here so from 0 the oxidation number has changed to minus 1 that means there is decrease in oxidation number which means there is gain of electrons and gain of electrons means it has undergone reduction okay now look at s species the oxidation number has increased right increased means there is loss of electrons and loss of electrons means 
it has undergone oxidation all right so now we want to identify what is the oxidizing agent oxidizing agent is an agent which itself undergoes a reduction and it causes the oxidation of other substances so here our oxidizing agent is i2 and the reducing agent the reducing agent is a species that causes the reduction of other substances and itself undergoes oxidation so here S2O3 2 minus has itself undergone oxidation and it has caused the reduction of I2 species since it is a reducing agent. So after knowing how to identify redox reaction further we have to learn how to balance the redox reaction okay. The first there are two methods for balancing the redox reaction. And the first method is called as oxidation method. Now very important to first know what are the rules to find out or balance the oxidation um, to balance the redox reaction using this method is to know its rules properly. So step 1. Step 1 says that you have to balance the equation for all atoms except hydrogen and oxygen. So first you need to balance then you need to assign oxidation number to all atoms. Step 2. Now once you have assigned the oxidation number, we can easily find out or we can identify atoms that have undergone change in oxidation number. So once we know which atom have undergone change in oxidation number, we will be easily be able to identify which atoms have undergone oxidation and which have undergone reduction. Now step 3. Here you need to show the increase or decrease in oxidation number of each atom. Hence, the net increase or decrease in oxidation number next is step 4 you have to determine factors that will make you have to determine the factors that will make the net increase or decrease in oxidation number equal. Alright. Next is step 5. 
स्टेप फाइव वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू हैव टू बैलेंस ऑक्सीजन एटम्स एंड हाइड्रोजन एटम्स ना हाउ विल वी बैलेंस ऑक्सीजन एटम यू हैव टू बैलेंस दी ऑक्सीजन एटम बाय एडिंग वाटर मॉलिक्यूल ओके एंड यू हैव टू बैलेंस दी हाइड्रोजन एटम्स by adding h plus so let's see if there is one oxygen atom less on the left hand side of the reaction so you will add one water molecule to the left hand side let's say if there is hydrogen atom on the right hand side let's say there is five hydrogen atoms less so you will add five h plus on the right hand side so we continue step 6 step 6 is applicable if it is specified that the reaction is occurring in basic medium so if the reaction is occurring in basic medium you will have to add oh minus ions equal to the number of h plus ions okay on both sides So, if there is five H plus ions in the reaction, you will add five OH minus ions, and ultimately, H plus OH minus ions will combine together to form H two O. Okay. Next, the last step, step seven. After you have followed the six steps, the last step would be, you will check the balancing. you will check the balancing for atom and you will check the balancing for the net charge now let's learn how to balance the redox reaction with the help of an example so first step you have to balance every atom except for hydrogen and oxygen so manganese one one atom on both sides sulfur one one atom so this reaction is balanced next is we have to assign oxidation number you have to remember the rules for assigning oxidation number oxygen will each atom will have an oxidation number of minus 2 and how many such atoms are there four so minus 2 into 4 will give you minus 8 so sum of oxidation number of mn plus Minus eight should be equal to minus one, the charged carried by it. So when this minus eight goes on the left hand side, it will become plus eight, right? So this would be plus seven. Same way here, minus two into three is how much? Minus six. So oxidation number of sulfur plus minus six should be equal to minus two. Minus six when it goes on the other side, it will become plus six. So plus six and minus two is how much? Plus four. Now oxidation number of oxygen again per atom is minus two. So minus two into four is minus eight. Oxidation number of manganese plus minus eight should be equal to the charge carried on it, which is how much? Two minus. So oxidation number of manganese would be. That minus eight will go on the right hand side and become plus eight. So plus eight minus two, which is how much? Plus six. And oxidation number of oxygen again minus two. So minus eight and uh, minus eight when it goes on the other side will become plus eight. So plus eight minus two will give you six. So after writing down the oxidation number of each atom. we will have to now identify where is the increase and decrease so look here mn it has undergone decrease in oxidation number which means there is gain of electrons and uh, if you look at s there is an increase in oxidation number 
विच मीन्स देर इज लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स नाउ स्टेप थ्री आफ्टर आइडेंटिफाइंग वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द नेट इंक्रीज एंड डिक्रीज राइट सो सिंस देर इज ओनली वन वन एटम आई एम डायरेक्टली राइटिंग डाउन द नेट सो द नेट इंक्रीज इन ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ एस ओ थ्री टू माइनस इज हाउ मच फ्रॉम फोर इट हैज बिकम प्लस सिक्स सो इट हैज इंक्रीज बाय टू एंड द नेट डिक्रीज इन oxidation number of mn o oh. from 7 it has decreased to plus 6 which means it is gone down by 1 now next step says that we have to make this net increase or decrease equal so in order to make minus 2 same as minus 1 same as 2 we need to multiply mn by 2 okay so the multiplication factor would be 2 so i'm multiplying this mn species by 2 so my reaction would be 2 mn o4 raised to minus so3 to minus 2 mn o4 to minus plus SO four raised to two minus. What I have done is I have only multiplied it by the factor two in order to make this net change same to make this minus one as two. So I am writing down the oxidation number only of those atoms which has undergone increase and decrease. All right. Now the net increase and decrease has been balanced, so we move on to the next step, which is balancing of oxygen atoms. Now let's calculate. Four twos are eight, and here three, so nine, ten, eleven. In total, eleven oxygen atoms on the left hand side. Four twos are eight, eight and four twelve. So here there are twelve atoms, here there are eleven atoms. So the rule says, you know, wherever there is less oxygen atom, we need to add water molecule. So one oxygen atom is less here. so i am going to add one water molecule over here okay so one water molecule has been added now oxygen is balanced now we need to balance what hydrogen so here there is two hydrogen and here there is none of the hydrogen atom so i need in order to balance hydrogen we can add h plus so i am adding 2h plus all right so now this reaction is balanced now we need to check in terms of atom so all atoms are balanced and we need to check for the net charge okay so even the net charge is balanced a net charge of minus 4 is present on both sides how see minus 2 two such atoms so minus 4 and here two minus charge that is minus 6 minus 6 and here two positive charge so minus 6 plus 2 is how much minus 4 so a charge of minus 4 on the right hand side and here one negative but two such atoms so minus 2 and this minus 2 minus 4 so a net charge of minus 2 is present on both sides so now this reaction is this redox reaction is balanced let's go to the next example of how to balance the redox reaction so our next example this reaction would be given to you so step 1 says that you have to balance the redox reaction first of all so if you see cr here is not balanced here there is two atoms and here there is only one so here we need to add two okay iodine one iodine one so it is balanced except hydrogen and oxygen next we need to assign oxidation number of for each atom all right so earlier we have learned how to assign the oxidation number so let's see
see here oxidation number of chromium plus how many such atoms are there two so this would be multiplied by two plus seven into oxidation number of oxygen which is how much minus two their algebraic sum has to be equal to minus two so two into oxidation number of cr is equal to minus two plus fourteen so oxidation number of chromium would be equal to twelve divided by two which would be how much plus six so each atom is having plus six oxygen we know now in the reaction itself it is given raised to minus so here also it is minus one here it is three plus so it will be plus three now here how do we calculate the oxidation number see oxygen it is minus two so now i am calculating for this so oxidation number of iodine plus three atoms of oxygen are there so three into oxidation number of oxygen should be equal to minus one so iodine would be minus one plus six which would be plus five so iodine we are getting it as five now after we have assigned the oxidation number of each atom so after assigning the oxidation number for each atom we now have to identify the loss or gain of electrons so if we look at cr cr has undergone decrease in decrease in oxidation number and iodine has undergone increase in oxidation number okay now this is only for per atom now we need to determine net increase in oxidation number net increase okay so minus there is only one atom right on both side there is only one one atom so minus 1 to 5 how much is the net increase it is plus 6 now here look at chromium it's not one atom it's two so for each atom plus 6 so for two atoms it's 12 and here it is 3 positive charge of 3 and how many such atoms are there two so three twos are six so from 12 it has gone down to six so therefore net decrease in oxidation number is also six once again i am explaining see six for one atom so for two it is six twos are 12 we are three for each atom So for two, three twos are six. So from twelve, it has gone down to six. Therefore, the net decrease is six. Now, after we have done this, we have to now balance this reaction for oxygen molecules. So here there is seven, and here there is only three oxygen molecules. So in this reaction, we need to add four water molecules now see oxygen is balanced now hydrogen so here there is eight hydrogen atoms and here there is none so here we need to add 8h plus so now this reaction is balanced in terms of the net charge as well as the atoms so we are going to continue to learn how to balance a redox reaction by using oxidation number method so we'll consider a new example so the question asked will be in this way 
you will be given this reaction and you will be asked to balance it. This would be the question that would be given to you. Now recollect what are the rules of oxidation number method. It says that you have to balance the given redox reaction for each atom except hydrogen and oxygen. So let's check. Is MN balanced? See one atom here and one atom here. So it's balanced. Then bromine. Bromine again one atom on the left hand side, one atom on the right hand side. So that's also balanced. Right? So the balancing is already done. Next. We have to assign oxidation number to each of the atom. Alright. So we know oxygen has an oxidation number of minus 2. Now minus 2 for one atom of oxygen. How many atoms are here? 4. So total is minus 8. Now on this whole molecule there is a charge of minus 1. Matlab. You remember the rule? The algebraic sum of the oxidation number of atoms should be equal to the charged carried on it. So oxidation number of manganese plus minus 8 should give me minus 1. So Mn in this way would be getting an oxidation number of plus 7. Let me explain you once again. See it's this way. How did I got it? So oxidation number of Mn plus since there are 4 molecules of oxygen into oxidation number of oxygen should be equal to the charged carried on it which is how much? Minus 1. So what would be oxidation number of manganese? That's minus 1 and this minus 8 when it goes on the other hand it becomes plus 8. So I am getting 7. Next. Oxidation number of an ion is equal to the charged carried on it. For monoatomic ion, there is only one atom. Okay, So, bromine will be having an oxidation number of minus 1. Now, do you see this molecule MnO2? There is no charge on it. We know oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2. How many atoms are here? 4. So, this is minus 4. Since it is neutral, the algebraic sum should be equal to 0. So, minus 4. So, to nullify that, the charge on Mn would be plus 4. I mean the oxidation number would be plus 4. Then same way here. Oxidation number of oxygen is again minus 2. Since there are 3 atoms, this would be minus 6. So if I have to calculate, see again it's the same way. Oxidation number of bromine plus, since there are 3 atoms of oxygen, 3 into minus 2 should be equal to minus 1. So oxidation number of bromine would be minus 1 plus 6 which is coming out to be plus 5. So the oxidation number of bromine is plus 5. Now next step after we have assigned the oxidation number to each atom we have to find out which atom has undergone loss or gain of electrons. So for that I am going to look at the change in oxidation number. So we see Mn is having decrease in oxidation number which means it has undergone gain of electrons. Now gain of electrons means reduction. Alright. Now look at Br. What is Br undergone? Br has undergone increase in oxidation number which means it has undergone loss of electrons which means this is this has undergone oxidation right now after this step we have to determine what is the net increase or decrease in the oxidation number so first we will do it for each atom since there is only one atom we can as well tell it to be net. So net increase in oxidation number of Br. See Br has undergone increase right. 
so the net increase from minus 1 to 5 would be plus 6. And the net decrease in oxidation number of Mn from 7 it has come down to 4. So the decrease is of 3. Okay. Now we need to make the net increase or decrease same. So in order to make this 3. 6 we will have to multiply 3 by 2. So Mn we are going to multiply by 2. So this will turn out to be 2 Mn O4 raised to minus 1 Br raised to minus 1 Mn I am multiplying by 2. So this is 2 Mn O2 plus Br O3 minus. Now the net factors have become same. Next I am going to look to balance oxygen atoms. Alright. I am going to look to balance oxygen atoms. So look here. On the left hand side how many oxygen atoms are there? Here there is 4. 4 into 2 8. So here there are 8 atoms. And here 2 twos are 4. 4 and 3. That's 7. So 7 on the right hand side. So here there is one oxygen atom less. So I am going to add one water molecule to balance this. Alright. Next. Oxygen atoms are now balanced. But I need to also balance hydrogen atoms. Okay. So in order to balance hydrogen atoms, I will have to uh, check how many hydrogen atoms are here. On the left hand side there is no hydrogen atom. And here there is how many? 2. So here there is 2 less. So I am going to add 2 hydrogen atoms here. Now it is given in this question only that this whole reaction is occurring in the basic medium. If the reaction is occurring in basic medium we have a step to follow which says that we have to add same number of OH minus ions as there are H plus ions. So here there are 2 H plus ions. So I would need to add 2 OH minus ions also because the reaction is occurring in basic medium. So what I am going to do is I am going to add Two OH minus ions as well. Now, if I add two OH minus ions on the left hand side, I will have to do the same on the right hand side. Okay, the rule also says that H plus and OH minus ions will combine together to give us water molecule. So the next step says 2 Mn O4 raised to minus plus Br raised to minus plus 2 molecules of water giving 2 Mn O2 BrO3 minus 2OH minus. Now this reaction is balanced in terms of atoms as well as the net charged carried by it. Alright. Next example. Again I have to balance this redox reaction, the given redox reaction by oxidation number method. So the question will be given to you in this way. So 
so let's continue with this example we are going to first check for balancing so bi one one atom on each side same way for sn also one one atom for each side so that is balanced all right now after this we will have to assign oxidation number to each atom okay so look here hydrogen is having an oxidation number of plus one and oxygen is having of minus two but here there are three atoms so one into three plus three minus two into three is minus six so minus six plus three is giving me minus three this whole is neutral so minus three to make it neutral what would be the oxidation number of bi plus three same way here hydrogen is having an oxidation number of plus one oxygen is having an oxidation number of minus two so plus three and minus six again this is giving me how much minus three but now this is not neutral this is having minus one so for a charge of minus one to remain out of minus three the oxidation number of sn should be plus two mono atom uh, an, a mono atom in a free or uncombined state has the oxidation number of zero now let's look here hydrogen plus six one for each atom oxygen minus two for each atom so minus two into six is minus twelve minus twelve plus six is how much minus six out of minus six two minuses already on this whole ionic species so what would be the remaining would be plus four all right now let's continue we need to find out which atom has undergone increase or decrease in oxidation number so look at br br from 3 it has become 0 so this has undergone decrease in oxidation number now decrease in oxidation number means it has gain electrons which means it has undergone a reduction okay now look at sn sn from 2 it has become 4 so here there is increase in oxidation number which means it has undergone loss of electrons Let's continue with the next example. So your question will be given in this way. Bi OH thrice plus Sn OH thrice raised to minus giving Bi plus Sn OH six raised to two minus. Now first we have to balance the given reaction for all atoms except hydrogen and oxygen. So Bi 1 1 atom on each side, Sn also 1 1 atom on each side, so it's balanced. Next we want to give the oxidation number to each of the atoms. Hydrogen has an oxidation number of plus 1. Oxygen has an, ox uh, oxygen has an oxidation number of minus 2. Now there are 3 atoms of hydrogen. So 1 into 3 is plus 3. Plus 3 and oxygen minus 2 into 3 is minus 6. So minus 6 plus 3 would be giving us minus 3. Now this is a neutral molecule. So to nullify minus 3 Bi, we have an idea that Bi will be having an oxidation number of plus 3. Now same way here, hydrogen again plus 1, oxygen minus 2. So this is plus 3 and this is minus 6. Minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3. Now here one negative charge is there on this ion. So out of that minus 3 we have to nullify only 2 for one charge to remain. So Sn would be plus 2. Bi would be 0 because any atom in free or uncombined state has an oxidation number of 0. Now same way here HV no has an oxidation number of plus 1. Oxygen has an oxidation number of minus 2. So this is plus 6 minus 12. Now plus 6 minus 12 would give us minus 6 from this minus 6 to 2 minus should remain on this sign so how many do we have to nullify 4 so sn would be having plus 4 now we have to write down which atom has undergone increase or decrease in the oxidation number all right so look at bi 
bi has undergone decrease in oxidation number which means it has gain of electrons which means reduction now look at sn sn has undergone increase in oxidation number which means there is loss of electrons now we will write down the net increase or decrease i am directly writing net because there is only one one atom of bi and sn so net increase in oxidation number of sn from plus 2 it has become plus 4 so that's plus 2 and net decrease in oxidation number of bi bi from 3 it has gone down to 0 so the decrease is of 3 now we have to make this net increase or decrease same so sn 3 and 2 to make it same sn we are going to multiply by 3 and bi we are going to multiply by 2 So Bi I am multiplying by 2. So this reaction would become 2Bi OH thrice. Sn I am multiplying by 3. So 3Sn three OH raised to minus 1. Bi I am multiplying by 2. Sn I am multiplying by 3. I am only writing the oxidation number of those atoms which has undergone change. Alright. Now, after this, we are going to learn, we are going, we are going to balance the oxygen atoms. So, look here. 3 oxygen atoms and such there are 2. So, 3 twos are first O3 and then such 2 molecules. So, 3 twos are 6. 6 here and here there are how many this is uh, SnOH thrice right so this is 3 3 into 3 is 9 so 9 and 6 would give us 15 here there are 15 oxygen atoms on the other hand let's check out here here there is no oxygen atom 6, 6, 3 is 18. So here there is 15 and here there is 18. So here there is 3 atoms less. So what I am going to do is I am going to add 3 water molecules here. Alright, now after balancing of oxygen atoms, I have to look into hydrogen atoms. How many hydrogen atoms on the left hand side and how many hydrogen atoms on the right hand side. So look here. Let's look at this side first. 6. 6 is outside. So 6 into 3. 18. Alright, how many? 18. And here? 3, 3, 3 is a 9. And here, 3, 3, 2 is a 6. 9 and 6, 15. 15 and 3, 2 is a 6. So that's how much? 21. So we said 21 on the left hand side. And here we had said 6 into 3, which is 18. So here, there is how many atoms less? 3 because here there is in total 18 and here there is 21. So here I am going to add now 3H plus. Okay. Now it is already given in this question 
that this reaction is happening in basic medium so if if the reaction is happening in basic mediums we have to add same number of oh minus ions as there are number of h plus ions how many h plus ions are here three so i will have to add three oh minus ions on both sides okay three oh minus ions now three h plus plus three oh minus would give us water molecule so the net reaction would become okay so now this reaction is balanced in terms of each atom as well as the net charge let's continue with the next example our next example says that this reaction is happening in acidic medium that's your question now we have to balance this first in terms of atoms so here see there is as4 and here there is only one so i will have to add 4 over here now as is balanced but here there is 3 pb here there is only one so i need to add 3 here now if i add 3 here pb is balanced but s becomes imbalanced so 3s so here also i will have to add 3 now i need to find out the oxidation number of each atom all right so let's calculate see here we know oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2 and of hydrogen is plus 1 so how would this be calculated since there are three atoms so 3 into plus 1 is giving me 3 only plus 3 into oxidation number of sulfur plus 3 and there are four atoms of oxygen and the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2 so 3 into 4 into minus 2 it should give me minus 1 all right so this is going to be 3 plus 3 into oxidation number of sulfur and this is 4 twos are 8 8 16 20 4 so this is minus 24 giving us minus 1 now plus 3 minus 24 is minus 21 minus 21 goes on that side and becomes and uh, this charge also would be minus 3 see one for each charge ion and such there are three ions so this is minus 3 so minus 3 so 3 into oxidation number of sulfur would be minus 3 and this minus 21 when it goes on the other side it would become plus 21 so this is 18 so therefore oxidation number of sulfur is 18 divided by 3 which is plus 6 so here i am getting plus 6 as will be having an oxidation number of 0 any atom in free or uncombined state has 0 now this let's look at this so this is minus 2 we know minus 2 now look here 3 into oxidation number of pb plus 
four atoms of oxygen into the oxidation number of minus two should give me zero. So what would be oxidation number of Pb? This minus eight goes on that side becomes plus eight, and this three comes down. So this is eight divided by three. So Pb is having an oxidation number of eight divided by three. Same way here, oxygen we know is minus two. Pb we know is having an oxidation number of plus two. So similarly, we are going to get oxidation number of plus six on sulfur. Here, if we take neutral molecule and three, three such molecules. All right. Now let's look here. Oxygen we know is having an oxidation number of minus two. Hydrogen we know is having an oxidation number of plus one. So if you want to calculate, see it's this way. Eight atoms of hydrogen. Four twos are eight. So eight into plus one, which is going to give me eight only plus. oxidation number of as but since there are four such atoms i am multiplying it by 4 plus 4 the whole anionic species and here four so 4 into 4 into minus 2 this should give me minus 4 since there are four such ions so this is 8 plus 4 into oxidation number And this would give me four fours are sixteen, sixteen twos are thirty two. So this is minus thirty two is equal to minus four. Now plus eight minus thirty two would give me minus twenty four. So four into oxidation number of As is minus twenty four. When it goes on the other side, it will become plus twenty four plus twenty four minus twenty minus four. So therefore, oxidation number of As is twenty divided by four, which is plus five. So here I can write As is having an oxidation number of plus five. So after we have assigned the oxidation number of each atom, now we need to find out what is the atoms that is undergoing increase or decrease in oxidation number. So let's continue. Look here. As has undergone increase in oxidation number. That means loss of electrons. Okay. Now look here. Eight divided by three. Three twos are six. Six. So two point six something. Here it is. And here it is two, so this has undergone. Pb has undergone decrease in oxidation number. All right, so let's find out the net increase or decrease in oxidation number. First, we are going to find out for each atom. Increase in oxidation number of As is from zero. It has increased to five for each atom, right? So the net increase in oxidation number is five for each atom. Now, how many such atoms are here? Four. So the net increase in Five into four is twenty. Same way. Now I need to find out decrease in oxidation number of Pb. Okay. Now look here. Very interesting. First, this was eight point three. Eight divided by three. It has decreased by something to become two. Right. I need to find out this x. So this x will go here and become plus x. So eight upon three minus two is my x. This is the decrease in oxidation number. 
so what would x be x would be 8 minus 6 the whole upon 3 which is 2 by 3 now this is for one atom of pb and how many such atoms are here three three atoms of pb so the net would be net degrees Exidation number of PB is 2 upon 3 into 3 which is 2. Okay. So for AS the net is 20 and for PB the net decrease in oxidation number is 2. Now in order to make this factor same we will have to multiply PB by 10. So we are going to multiply PB by 10. So our reaction would be Now see here, after we have balanced this, the net increase or decrease, sulfur has become unbalanced. See here, there are 30 atoms of sulfur and here there is only 3. So we need to multiply this by 10. So this would become 30 HSO4 minus plus AS4 plus 10 PB3O4. Alright, now after this step, we need to balance the oxygen atom on each side. So let's check how many oxygen atoms are here. So 34 is 4 3 is 12. So this is 120. 120 and here 10 into 4, 40. So here there are 160 oxygen atoms. Okay, and here 30 into 4, again 120. 120 and 4 4 size 16 right so here there are 136 oxygen atoms here there is 160 here there is 136 so on your right hand side there are 24 oxygen atoms less so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add those many number of oxygen atoms So I am going to add 24 oxygen uh, water molecules on my right hand side. Now after we have balanced the oxygen atoms, we now need to balance the hydrogen atoms on each side. Okay, so let's find out how many hydrogen atoms are there on each side. So here there is 8, 8, 24, 2 is 48. 48 plus 8 is how much? 56. So on my right hand side there are 56 and here there is 30. Right, so here there is 56 and here there is 30. So I need to add on my left hand side 26 hydrogen atoms. So here I am going to add 26 hydrogen atoms. Now remember in this, in this question it was given that this reaction is occurring in acidic medium. So no need to balance H plus with OH minus. Okay, so this is their net reaction. Let's begin with our next example. So this question says that this reaction is occurring in basic medium.
this is the reaction that is given to you so the first step is balance it for every atom except hydrogen and oxygen so al11 atom di11 atom nitrogen11 atom so it's already balanced next we need to assign oxidation number to each of the atoms now in free or uncombined state the oxidation number is always zero all right now here oxygen is having minus two here also minus two so minus two into three is minus six minus six and minus two is minus eight and nitrogen here would be having of plus five so minus eight and plus five is how much minus three so bi becomes plus three here it is zero hydrogen here is plus one so plus one into three is plus three so nitrogen here would be having minus three since it's a neutral molecule and hydrogen here plus one oxygen here minus two so plus 1 into 4 is plus 4 and minus 2 into 4 is minus 8. Minus 8 plus 4 is giving me minus 4. But one negative is remaining on this ionic species. That means out of 4 negative charges, one has to remain. So that means here there is plus 3. After assigning the oxidation number to each atom, we have to now find out which are the atoms which have undergone increase or decrease in oxidation number. Okay, so now let's find out which atoms have undergone increase or decrease in oxidation number. So look at Al. From 0 it has become plus 3. That means there is increase in oxidation number. Which means it has gain electrons. Look at Bi. What is happening in Bi? From 3 it is coming to 0. And as well look at N. N is also decreased. Okay. So Bi is also decreasing and NS is also decreasing. So there is a decrease in oxidation number which means there is gain of electrons. Here there was loss of electrons. All right. So now let's find out net increase in oxidation number of Al from 0 to 3 which means plus 3. Now net decrease in oxidation number of bi from 3 it is coming to 0 that means decreasing by 3 same way net decrease in oxidation number of n from 5 it is becoming minus 3 so how much by how much is it decreasing 5 to 0 is 5 and from 0 to minus 3 is again minus 3 so uh, is 3 so 5 and 3 is 8 so this is decreasing by minus 8 so what we're going to do is we're going to add both the degrees so this would become minus 11 so the net increase is by plus 3 and the net decrease is by minus 11 next step we have to make the net increase or decrease same so al we are going to multiply by 11 and Bi and N, both we are going to multiply by 3. So Al, I am multiplying by 11. So this becomes 11 Al. I said Bi and N, we will have to multiply by 3. So this will become 3 Bi O N O 3. Again 3 here. 3 Bi. And also we are multiplying by 3. 3 NH3 AL I said we are multiplying by 11 so 11 OH4 raised to minus 1 now I am only writing down the oxidation number of those atoms which have undergone increase or decrease alright then after we have balanced the net increase or decrease in oxidation number, now we need to balance the number of oxygen atoms. So let's look on our left hand side. 
3 into 1, 3 and 3, 3 is a 9. 9 and 3, 12. So here there are 12 oxygen atoms. And here 4, 4 into 11, 44. So 44 on my right hand side and um, 12 on my left hand side. So left hand side is deficient by 32 oxygen atoms. So I need to add 32 water molecules in order to balance the number of oxygen atoms. Next step, we need to balance the number of hydrogen atoms. Now look here, 3, 3 is a 9. And here it is 4, 4 into 11, 44. 44 plus 9 would give me how much? 53. So that is here, 53 hydrogen atoms, 9 and 44. And here, how many hydrogen atoms are here? 32 into 2, that is how much? 64. Okay, so here there are 64 hydrogen atoms and here there is 53. So on this side, I need to balance by adding, see once again, here I said it is 64H plus and here it is 53H plus. So this side is having more H plus and this side is having 11H plus less. So I'm going to add on this side 11 H plus. Now this reaction it was specified in the question that the reaction is occurring in basic medium. So if the reaction is occurring in basic medium how many ever H plus you add the same number of OH minus ions also we will have to add. So the, how many H plus have we added? 11. So on both sides we will have to add 11 OH minus ions. So here also and here also. Rule also says that if it's happening in the basic medium, H plus and OH minus ions will combine together to form water molecule. So this is 11 Al plus 3 BiONO3 plus 32 water molecules plus 11 OH minus giving 3 Bi plus 3 NH3 plus 11 Al OH 4 raised to minus plus 11 water molecules. Now see from both sides here there is 32 water molecules and here there is 11 water molecules. 11 water molecules will get cancelled. So my net reaction would be 6. So now this reaction is balanced in terms of atom as well as the net charge. Now we will learn the second method of balancing the redox reaction and this method is called as ion electron method. The first method was oxidation number method. This method is ion electron method. Now step 1. Step 1 says you have to write the unbalanced, unbalanced, okay, unbalanced equation and assign oxidation number to each atom. Okay, step 2. After we have assigned the oxidation number to each atom, we will find out which atoms have undergone oxidation and which atoms have undergone reduction. So those two we will have to separate it in two reactions. So we are going to divide into two half reaction, two half reactions. So one would be of oxidation and the other would be of reduction. So now we are going to have two half reactions. Now after this, these two half reactions, we will have to balance them. Balance them for each atom. 
So balance the two half reactions for each atom except hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, except hydrogen and oxygen. Then after you have balanced it for every atom, you will balance for hydrogen and for oxygen. All right. Next. So this balancing of hydrogen and oxygen would actually be your step four. Now step five. Step five would be we would have to balance the charges on each side by adding electrons okay but these electrons can be added only to the right hand side of oxidation reaction and left hand side of the reduction reaction so like i said we have two half reactions one oxidation and one reduction you can balance the charges by adding electrons but at electrons we can add to the right hand side of the oxidation reaction and to the left hand side of the reduction reaction next step is step 6 how many ever electrons you have added on both sides those must be made same so you will multiply by some factor to make number of electrons same okay and then you will add the two half reactions and cancel the number of electrons okay and last step if the reaction is happening in basic medium same rule which was followed in oxidation number method you will add equal number of OH minus ions as many H plus ions are there okay and H plus plus OH minus will give us water molecule and lastly you will check balancing so now we are going to learn how to balance the redox reaction by ion electron method okay let's take an example you would be given this reaction so this reaction is mn2 plus plus clo3 minus forming mno2 plus clo2 now while uh, following this method you have to recollect the rules which were given so first step says that write the unbalanced reaction so here we need not check whether every atom is balanced or no so we are writing the unbalanced reaction and we are only assigning oxidation number to each of the atoms so a charged monoatomic ion would have the same number of oxidation number right so it's two plus so oxidation number would be two plus now we know oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2. So minus 2 into minus 3 is minus 6. Out of this minus 6, one charge should remain. So how many do we have to nullify? 5. So Cl would be giving, getting plus 5 oxidation number. Now here minus 2, minus 2 into 2 is minus 4. It's a neutral molecule. So this would be plus 4. Now here again it's a neutral molecule. So minus 2 into 2, minus 4. So this is becoming plus 4. Now after we have written what are the oxidation number of each atoms we need to find out which atom have undergone oxidation and which atom have undergone reduction. So for that I am finding out which is the net increase. Can you see Mn is increased from plus 2 to plus 4. So this is increase in 
oxidation number increase in oxidation number means there is loss of electrons which means it has undergone oxidation all right now look at cl cl has undergone decrease in oxidation number which means there is gain of electrons which means there is reduction so i have identified which is the oxidation reaction and which is the reduction reaction so the next step says that now i have to separate these two half reaction so i am writing the two half reactions all right so the first half reaction is of oxidation okay so it is mn 2 plus the oxidation number is plus 2 changing into mn o2 okay now after i have written the oxidation reaction i will write down also the reduction reaction reduction reaction is cl o3 minus forming clo2 here there is a charge of plus 4 and here there is a charge of plus 5 all right now we need to balance these two reaction for each atom okay so see is mn balanced yes one atom on both side is cl balanced yes one atom on both side so now again we need to balance the number of oxygen atoms so how many oxygen atoms on my right hand side two so here there is two atoms less so i am going to add two water molecules over here okay same way here here there is how many oxygen atom 3 and here there is 2 so on my right hand side there is one water molecule less one oxygen atom less so i am going to add one water molecule after i have balanced it for oxygen i now need to balance it for hydrogen so look here in your oxidation reaction how many hydrogen atoms are here 2 into 2 4 is there any here no so here there is four hydrogen atoms and here there is none so i will have to add 4h plus let's look here there is only one hydrogen at a uh, two hydrogen atom on my right hand side and here there is none so i will have to add 2h plus on my left hand side okay so now i have balanced it for each atom as well as for the oxygen as well as for the hydrogen your next step says you have to balance it for charges on it okay so let's look at the charges on my oxidation uh, reaction see what is the charge here 2 plus and what is the total charge here this is neutral so zero and here there is 4 plus so here there is 2 and here there is 4 so i need to make this to 2 plus right i can add number of electrons but only to the right hand side of the oxidation reaction 4 could 2 if i want to make this 4 into 2 i will have to add two electrons here okay now same way look in the reduction reaction what is the net charge here 2 plus and here there is 1 minus so 2 plus and 1 minus will give me 1 plus right and here there is no charge that means there is zero so here there is 1 plus and here there is zero so i need to make both of them zero so i need to add electrons but where can i add electrons only to the left hand side of the reduction reaction that means on my left hand side i am adding one electron okay now to make the two electrons same so here there is how many electrons two and here there is how many electrons one so i'm going to multiply the reduction reaction by two okay So now I'm multiplying the reduction reaction by two in order to make the number of electrons same. So what would that become? See, my reduction reaction would change into four H plus plus two ClO three minus plus two electrons forming two ClO two plus two H two. okay and my oxidation reaction i am writing unchanged which is 2h2o 
प्लस एम एन टू प्लस now do we see the uh, two electrons have become same right now we are going to add the two half reaction so adding the two half reactions now when i add the two half reactions this number of electrons will get cancel okay the water molecule also will get cancel because it is two and two water molecule so what remains is even the 4h plus is getting cancels do we see so what what is remaining is mn2 plus 2clo3 minus forming 2clo2 plus mno2 now this reaction is balanced in terms of the net charges on it as well as each atom so we're going to continue to uh, balance the redox reaction by our next method which was ion electron method all right so i'm writing down the next example and this reaction remember is happening in basic medium so step 1 says that you have to write the unbalanced reaction and you just need to assign the oxidation number to each atom so hydrogen is having an oxidation number of 1 oxygen is having of 2 so this is plus 3 and 3 into t is uh, 3 into 2 is minus 6 minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3 since it's a neutral molecule we need to nullify the entire minus 3 so this will become plus 3 now look here oxygen we know the oxidation number is minus 2 so minus 2 into 2 is minus 4 but we want one negative charge to be uh, remaining so this would uh, be getting plus 2 all right next look here oxygen is having minus 2 3 twos are 6 minus 6 out of this minus 6 we want 2 to remain so out of 6 2 to remain that means we have to nullify 4 So this is becoming plus four, and any atom in free or uncombined state is having an oxidation number of zero. Now we need to identify which atoms have undergone oxidation and which atoms have undergone reduction because we need to separate the two half reactions. So let's do that. Let's look at Bi. What is happening to Bi is there is a decrease. in oxidation number okay now decrease in here in the question only this was 2 minus huh? so this is increase uh, decrease in oxidation number decrease in oxidation number is from plus 3 to 0 okay decrease in oxidation number there is gain of electrons which means what has occurred reduction now let's look at sn sn has undergone increase in oxidation number which means there is loss of electrons which means what has occurred oxidation has occurred now after we have identified which is the reduction and which is the oxidation reaction we are going to separate the two half reactions so now i am separating the two half reactions so first i am writing down oxidation oxidation is occurring with sn species so sn o2 raised to 2 minus this was plus 2 forming SnO3 raised to 2 minus this was plus 4 same way i'm also writing the reduction reaction and uh, reduction reaction was for bi bi oh thrice plus 3 forming bi 0 now 
after we have written the two half reaction first we need to balance it for each atom so one atom of SN on both sides we need to balance no bi one atom on each side so that is also balanced now we need to balance it for number of oxygen atoms right so look here three atoms of oxygen here and here there is how many two so here we need to add one water molecule okay look here same way here there is how many oxygen atoms? 1 into 3 is 3 and here there is none. So here we need to add how many? 3 water molecules. Now after we have balanced it for uh, oxygen atoms, we now need to balance it for hydrogen atoms. And how will we do that? By adding H plus ions. Okay. So on your oxidation reaction, there is 2 hydrogen atoms. On my left hand side and on my right hand side there is none. So I am adding 2H plus. Look here. Here there is 3 hydrogen atom and here there is 2. So here it is deficient by only 1 hydrogen atom. See in this reduction reaction there were 3 oxygen atoms here. And here there was none. So I have added 3 water molecules right. And therefore here there is 3H plus. Now we are trying to balance hydrogen atoms. Okay. So look here. There are 3 H plus here. And here there is 6. 6 H plus. So um, 3 H plus is less. So here we said that here there are 3 H plus. And here there are 6 H plus. So here this is a deficient side. So here we are going to add 3 H plus. Now my oxidation and reduction reaction are balanced in terms of hydrogen and in terms of oxygen. Next step is to balance it in terms of charges. So let's again write these two reactions neatly on the next page. I am just writing down the same oxidation and reduction reaction. So my oxidation reaction was... And my reduction reaction was Now after we have balanced it for hydrogen and oxygen we now need to balance it for the charges okay on each side so let's see the charges what is the charge here 2 minus and here there is 2 minus plus 2 that means the charge here is 0 so um, in my oxidation reaction here the charge is of 0 and here there is 2 minus so I need to make this 2 minus I can do that by adding the number of electrons but only on the right hand side of my oxidation reaction okay now look here, there is a charge of 3 plus and here there is no charge. I can add number of electrons but only to my left hand side. So in order to nullify this 3H plus, I am adding 3 electrons. Now we need to make these added number of electrons same. Do we see in this reaction it is 2 and here it is 3. So in order to make this same, we will have to multiply the oxidation reaction by 3, this entire reaction we will have to multiply by 3 and this entire reaction we will have to multiply by 2 and so this gives us Okay, now after we have made the number of electrons same, 
Now we need to add these two reactions. When I add these two reactions, firstly, the number of electrons gets cancelled. Number of H plus gets cancelled. And this water molecule 3 will get cancelled. And from here, 3 will become less. Okay, so only 3 will remain. So the net uh, reaction that I will get after adding these two half reactions would be So like I said, out of the six water molecules on my right hand side and three water molecules of my left hand side, three water molecules will get cancelled. So the reaction will be written as it is with only water molecules being deleted. So now this reaction is balanced again in terms of charges as well as each atom. Let's continue with the ion electron method. We are considering a new example and the example says this question would be given to you H2O2 ClO4 minus forming ClO2 minus plus O2. Okay, now it's given that this reaction is happening in the basic medium. Alright, so step 1 says that you have to write the unbalanced reaction and you have to assign oxidation number to each atom. So we know oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2, minus 2 into 2 is minus 4 and uh, oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1. Alright, now next here minus 2, minus 2 into 4 is minus 8. Out of the minus 8 one charge should remain. So we have to nullify 7. So this will become plus 7. Now same way here, this is minus 2, minus 2 into 2 is minus 4. Out of this minus 4, we want one charge to remain. So we have to nullify 3, so this becomes plus 3. Now this would be 0. Now after this step, we have to find out which atoms have undergone oxidation and which atoms have undergone reduction. So let's see this. Do we see Cl? Cl have undergone decrease in oxidation number. Now decrease in oxidation number means it has gain of electrons which means reduction has occurred. Alright. Now look at oxygen. Okay. Oxygen has undergone This minus 2 is for 2 atoms. So for 1 atom it would be minus 1. So from minus 1 it is coming to 0. From minus 1 it is coming to 0. That means there is an increase in oxidation number. Once again this minus 2 uh, that we had written earlier was for 2 atoms. But we are writing the oxidation number for each atom. So for each atom the oxidation number is minus 1. From minus 1 it has increased to 0. Increase in oxidation number means there is loss of electrons. Now that means what has occurred? Oxidation has occurred. Now after we have identified the oxidation and reduction reaction we have to separate the two half reactions. So I am separating the two half reaction. First I am writing down the oxidation reaction. only the oxidation reaction so this is forming O2 from minus 1 this has changed to 0 and uh, same way we are going to write the reduction reaction and reduction says that okay and Cl has changed from 7 to 3. Now after we have written the two half reactions, we have to balance it for each atom. 
okay except hydrogen and oxygen so cl is already balanced okay now we need to balance it for oxygen so let's balance for oxygen here there is 2 here there is 2 so we need not balance it here there is 4 and here there is 2 so here it is 2 oxygen atoms less so we are going to add two water molecules on my left hand side all right so here there is four oxygen atoms and here there is two atoms why i said that we have to add two water molecules here so we are adding two water molecules here now after we have added the water molecules now let's balance both the reactions for hydrogen atoms so how many hydrogen atoms are here in the oxidation reaction two is there any on my right hand side no that means i have to add 2h plus here same way now let's come to this side there is two hydrogen atoms here and here there is none so on my left hand side i will have to add 2h plus okay now after we have balanced it for the hydrogen and oxygen we have to balance it for the net charge so let's see the net charge neutral molecule net charge zero 2h plus that means I, this also I have to make it neutral so I will have to add two electrons now here there is minus one and here minus one and uh, here we had added h plus right 2h plus we had added so this would give us one plus minus one and 2h plus gives us one plus that means we have to add here electrons we had added two water molecules over here so here there is 4h plus and here we need to make it 4 so here what would be the net charge 4h plus minus 1 that is plus 3 and here there is minus 1 so we can add electrons only to the left hand side of the reduction reaction so we're going to add four electrons on my left hand side now after we have made uh, added charges equal now we need to make the number of electrons same now since we're going on the next page i'm just writing the reactions again So first I am writing my oxidation reaction. Now I am writing my reduction reaction. Now look here, there is two electrons in the oxidation reaction and four electrons in the reduction reaction. We need to make these two same. So to make this two four, we need to multiply the entire oxidation reaction by two. I am rewriting my oxidation reaction and I am multiplying it by two. So 2H2O2 forming 2O2 plus 4H plus plus four electrons and my reduction reaction is this now we see electrons are balanced now after we have balanced the number of electrons now we need to add both half reactions when i add both half reactions so adding both half reactions number of electrons will get cancelled also number of H plus will get cancelled. So what is remaining is ClO4 minus plus 2H2O2 forming ClO2 raised to minus plus 2H2O plus 2O2. Now this reaction is balanced in terms of each atom as well as the charges carried on it. Now we will continue with next fresh example. Your next example says that its reaction is occurring in acidic medium. So H2C2O4 plus MnO4 minus forming CO2 
plus m in q plus. Again, recollect, first step says that you have to write the entire unbalanced equation. So, this reaction is unbalanced. I am only going to try and write the oxidation number of each atom. Oxygen ka oxidation number is 2 and hydrogen ka oxidation number is 1. So, 4 2 za is minus 8. 2 1 za is 2. Minus 2, uh, plus 2 and minus 8 is how much? Minus 6. Now, minus 6 you want to nullify wholly because this entire molecule is neutral. So, minus 6 ko nullify karne ke liye we would need plus 6. But how many atoms of carbon are here? 2. So, each will carry a charge of plus 3. Alright. Now, same way here oxidation, oxygen is having an oxidation number of minus 2. So, 4 into minus 2 is minus 8. Out of this minus 8, we want minus 1 to remain. So, this is plus 7. Now here also the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2. So minus 2 into 2 is minus 4. And this is a neutral molecule. So we want to nullify the entire minus 4. So carbon will have an oxidation number of 4. And any monoatomic charged species will have the same oxidation number as the charged carried by it. So this is plus 2. Next step, we have to identify which atoms have undergone increase or decrease in oxidation number. So let's look at Mn. Mn is undergone decrease in oxidation number which means there is gain of electrons which means there is reduction all right now let's look at carbon now carbon has undergone increase in oxidation number increase in oxidation number means there is loss of electrons which means there is oxidation now after we have identified the oxidation and reduction reaction we are going to separate the two half reactions so first i am writing down my oxidation reaction my oxidation reaction states that And my reduction reaction says that okay now we need to balance it for every atom okay first we will balance it for every atom and then we will balance it for hydrogen and oxygen atom okay so look here how many carbon atoms are there in my left hand side? Two. And on my right hand side there is only one. So what would I need to do is I will have to add two over here. So now my carbon atoms are balanced. Now in my reduction reaction M, Mn is already balanced. Okay next we need to balance the number of oxygen atom. Okay so in my oxidation reaction there are four oxygen atoms on my left hand side. And here also there is four. That means number of oxygen atoms is already balanced. Now I need to balance my hydrogen atoms. On my left hand side, there are two hydrogen atoms here. But on my right hand side, there is none. So I will have to add 2H+. plus. Alright. Now same steps we are going to repeat for the reduction reaction. See in reduction reaction, we have four oxygen atoms on my left hand side. But on my right hand side, there is none. So I need to add four water molecules. Now my oxygen atoms are balanced. Now I need to balance my hydrogen atoms. So hydrogen at atoms, how many are here? Four, two, za, eight. Are there any here? No. So here I will have to add eight H plus. Now, after we have balanced it for hydrogen and oxygen, we need to ba balance the charges. Now let's look at your charge here. On my left hand side, is there any charge? No, neutral. Here, neutral. Only 2H+. plus. Matlab, this 2H+, plus I will have to nullify, which means I will have to add 2 electrons here. Now, same way here, on my uh, reduction side, let's look at the charges. 8 plus and minus 1. That means a charge of plus 7 on my left hand side. Whereas here, there is only 2 plus. So, both of them should have a charge of 2 plus. Here it is 7 and here it is 2 plus. So, this 7, I need to make it 2. How will I make it 2? By adding 
five electrons. Okay. Now, after we have made the charges same, we need to make these number of electrons same. So we have to multiply it by some factor so that the number of electrons becomes same. So I need to multiply this entire oxidation reaction by five and this entire reduction reaction by two. Okay, so I'm multiplying it by the factor and writing it. So my reaction would be five H two C two O four Now what I have done is I have just multiplied by a factor so that both of them become same. Now I will have to add the two reactions. So 10 electrons are getting cancelled from both sides. What else is getting cancelled? Do we see there is 16 hydrogen here and there is 10 hydrogen here. So 16 and 10 is only 8 hydrogen atoms, uh, 6 hydrogen atoms would remain. So this would give me 5H2C2O4 plus 2MnO4 raised to minus plus 10 and 16 may say 10 will get cancelled so only 6 will remain so 6 H plus would give me 10 CO2 plus this 10 H plus have already got cancelled 2 MN2 plus plus 8 H2O this would be my net reaction okay so it is balanced in terms of the charges as well as in terms of every atom. Okay. The last part of this chapter says. Applications of redox reactions. Okay. The first application of redox reaction is in combustion. Now what is combustion? It's burning of substance. by oxidation in presence of oxygen okay so in presence of oxygen this is called as combustion for example example if we say methane methane is burning in uh, presence of oxygen to get converted to co2 and water molecule okay now if we assign oxidation number to each See this is plus 1, plus 4. So here it will be minus 4 since it's a neutral molecule. Any atom in free state would have uh, oxidation number 0. This is minus 2. Minus 2 into 2 is minus 4. So to nullify this becomes plus 4. Now here again this is minus 2. Minus 2 into 2 is minus. And hydrogen we know is plus 1. Alright. So let's look at the change in oxidation number. Do we see a change in uh, carbon yes what has happened there is an increase in oxidation number now increase in oxidation number means there is loss of electrons which means oxidation has occurred all right and in same way if we look at oxygen look at oxygen oxygen has undergone decrease in oxidation number now decrease in oxidation number means there is gain of electrons which means reduction has happened so any reaction in which oxidation and reduction has happened simultaneously is called as redox reaction so combustion is also a type of redox reaction Let's look at the next application. Next application is in bleaching. Now 
Bleaching. This term is used in case of cleaning our household in household uh, applications as well as for uh, bleaching is also used for decolorizing uh, colors. It's also used in uh, removal of stains. So let's see how this bleaching is involving redox reaction. So what is bleaching? Bleaching is decolorization. or lightening of colored material okay is called bleaching let's look at some examples so the first example says NaOCl it's an oxidizing agent used to remove stains in clothes okay now we know oxidizing agent is that agent which oxidizes other substances that means it itself undergoes a reduction so even in this reaction oxidation and reduction would happen simultaneously and hence it's an example of redox reaction let's continue Next application says chlorine. Even chlorine is an oxidizing agent. Same thing and it's used to bleach wood, wood pulp into white paper. It is used, used to bleach wood pulp into white paper. Same concept. An oxidizing agent would reduce other substances. Same way hydrogen peroxide is used as an oxidizing agent and it is used to bleach dark hair. Again by redox reaction. Next application is in batteries. Now we know in batteries, batteries involves Daniel cell. Right? And in Daniel cell, what happens is there is transfer of electrons. There is transfer of electrons from Zn to Cu. Okay. And this itself causes generation of electricity. This transfer of electrons causes generation of electricity. So how this transfer happens is Zn plus Cu2 plus forming Zn2 plus plus Cu. Let's assign oxidation number. So Zn would have an oxidation number of 0 because it is in free state. Cu would have an oxidation number of 2 plus. Zn again 2 plus. Cu will have of 0. So look here. Zn has undergone increase in oxidation number. Increase in oxidation number means there is loss of electrons. Which means there is oxidation and if you look at Cu what has happened with Cu is there is reduction in oxidation number which means there is gain of electrons which means a reduction has occurred so this is also a typical example of redox reaction now next, next application is in metallurgy. What is metallurgy? Metallurgy is extraction of study of extraction of metals from their ores. Okay. And then they are purified. So what is metallurgy? In metallurgy metals are extracted from they are ores okay and then they are purified so what reactions we will study is the first we are studying is sulfide mineral converted to oxides by roasting okay so this reaction is involved zinc sulfide 
burning in presence of oxygen we heat it and what is formed is zinc oxide and sulfur dioxide is released now if we assign oxidation number to each we will find that sulfur is undergoing increase in oxidation number which means there is loss of electrons oxidation is happening okay and oxygen on the other hand is having decrease in oxidation number which means there is gain of electrons which means a reduction is happening see oxidation and reduction happening simultaneously which is an example of a redox reaction okay and the last application that we are studying is corrosion what is corrosion it is the destruction of metal by oxidation rusting corrosion okay so what is corrosion destruction of metal by oxidation so here iron is getting oxidized to form its oxide iron oxide this is corroded iron again this is an example of a redox reaction and so five applications we've already studied and the last application is respiration respiration which is happening at cellular levels in all living organisms in all of our living organism it's it's involved in during uh, process of breathing during process of breathing what happens is energy is generated and this energy is used by all cells for carrying out their respective functions for example sugar glucose reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide which is exhaled and water molecule and energy is released now this energy is used by all the cells for carrying out their respective functions okay now let's see how is this a redox reaction so if we assign oxidation number to each atom we will find out that carbon is having an oxygen uh, oxidation number of 0 here and here it is having an oxidation number of 4 okay see how oxidation number of uh, oxygen is 2 so minus minus 2 minus 2 into 6 is minus 12 minus 12 and plus 12 gets nullified already and this is a neutral molecule see this is minus 2 into 6 minus 12 this is plus 1 into 12 which is plus 12 negating nullified so there is no charge left to be nullified so each atom of carbon is having a zero oxidation number any element in the free state also has an oxidation number of zero oxygen we know has an oxidation number of minus 2 so minus 2 into 2 is minus 4 neutral molecule so carbon is having here plus 4 oxygen we know again is having minus 2 and hydrogen is having of plus 1 okay so look here oxygen has undergone reduction in oxidation number which means it has gain electrons so reduction process has occurred on the other hand if you look at carbon in carbon there is an increase in oxidation number which means there is loss of electrons which means oxidation has occurred okay so again reduction and oxidation occurring simultaneously it's an example of a redox reaction